Good morning, guys. This is going to be my first edition of morning driving vlogs with Stacy. Uh, generally, on my way to work, I tend to just kind of talk through my day or things that I want to get done or whatnot. And, you know, I figure why not record it? So that's what I'm going to do. So. No, you're not really going to see me looking at the camera. Maybe I'll glance at it here and there, but I'm driving to work, so I have to be safe. Anyway, it is Wednesday, September 13th. I just dropped the kids off at daycare. It's 7.40 in the morning. Our goal is to be there at 7.30. However, that rarely happens. I'm not sure how, considering Parker gets up at 6.15 in the morning. I get up around 5.30 in the morning um, and pay, I get paid up at between 6.25 and 6.30. Um, so, I mean, we're all up. It's just like everybody gets up and, and, you know, Parker eats breakfast and watches TV and then he usually plays a little bit and Peyton does never eats breakfast, but she drinks her chocolate milk and she lays on the couch and watches TV. She's not a morning person. She doesn't like to be up. Um, if you wake her up, I mean, if I had another hour to let her sleep, then she would be fine. If she will wake up on her own, then she's more of a morning person, but she still doesn't like to eat breakfast. She told me that she's been eating breakfast at school, which is fine. She doesn't have to eat when she wakes up if she doesn't want to. I don't generally want to eat as soon as I wake up. In fact, I almost always eat either on my way to work or as soon as I get to work, which if I'm eating on my way to work, it's either drinking a protein shake, which I guess really isn't eating, um, or eating a banana. Um, sometimes, or actually a lot of times, I will make oatmeal and heat it up at home and I don't like anything super hot. So by the time I get to work, it's a good temperature and I eat it. I only do that if I know that I don't have a patient at 8 a.m. as soon as I get there, um, which I don't today, so I have some oatmeal that I will eat when I get there. Um, anyway, so drop the kids off at daycare on my way to work. Um, I'm not gonna talk about work on these vlogs because one, I don't wanna post anything about my work and um, I also, would rather worry about my life outside of work and organize my thoughts for that. So, uh, we are in the third week of school, back to school, so kindergarten and third grade. Um, so far, they're going good, so I'm not really worried about that. We're just kind of trying to get into a routine as far as getting homework done and doing act after school activities plus getting in bed on time and taking a bath every night and uh that sort of thing which they always take a bath every night occasionally they skip but during the school year i really try not to because they have all those germs from back to school anyway parker started karate a couple of weeks ago he's went three times now he can go up to three times a week um between one and three times a week um but the past two weeks, we just haven't been able to go more than one. We were just adjusting too much to everything. Plus, there was some other stuff going on. This week, he went on Monday, um, which he was excited because he just got his uniform. So, that makes him feel more like he's part of the group. And we were going to go last night, which was Tuesday. But I gave him the choice whether he wanted to go or not. This is the first five-day week of school. The last two weeks, they had four-day weeks. Um... So I told him, you know, I don't want to wear you out too much. We don't have to go three nights a week. I'd like to go two just because I don't want to pay what I'm paying and only take him one. Uh, so anyway, he made the choice last night to not go to karate. Um, we're definitely going on Thursday. And also on Thursday, Peyton starts her very first ever tap dance class. It's her first dance class ever actually uh she's been super excited for that and we were supposed to start last thursday but we had meet the teacher night at the school which was more like an open house we definitely could have just not went <laughs> after we went i kind of regretted it not really regretted it but i definitely would have chose taking her to dance over going to it but anyway 
we start tomorrow night. So that's from 5.30 to 6. And then Parker has karate from 6 to 7. Luckily, they're very close to each other. And they're both very close to our house. Um, but Tom's actually going to take Parker to karate for me and drop him off. We don't have to stay there with him. He's fine. Um, and then I'll pick him up. And I'm going to stay with me in a dance class because it's only 30 minutes long. Um, I, granted, I don't live five minutes away. But to be quite honest, I'll just I'll stay there. You know, Maybe I'll go do a little walk outside or something. But anyway, tonight is Wednesday and we don't have anything on Wednesdays, which is wonderful. We need to definitely have a day where we don't have anything. Um, when it gets to be uh, in November, we might go to yoga, kids yoga here and there. We went to that a little bit last year and the kids really enjoyed it. So we'll kind of see. You don't actually have to sign up for it. You can just pay as you go. Um, so that's cool. I mean, so we can make the choice. You know, we could go once a month. We could go whenever. It doesn't matter. I don't even know if we'll go at all. I'd also like to try and squeeze going into the library in there because we did that not last school year, but the school year before we went pretty much every two weeks to the library and the kids liked doing that and I liked taking them. We would go right after school. It's just hard to fit in all the activities and I definitely don't want to wear them out. Um, so we'll see. I feel like we're still kind of just adjusting into the school year and things will get better and easier and we're also a little off routine over the summer because the kids spent a lot of time staying at their dad's house, which is why it does not work. So they stayed home with her. So they, you know, they didn't have to get up and go anywhere and whatever. And on top of that, when they weren't home through the week, some of the time, I don't have to get up as early. I don't have as much stuff to do in the morning. And I also don't have as much stuff to do in the evening. So it's definitely like this whole getting back into our routine, but it'll be fine. And we'll get used to it. I'm really struggling with being very, very fatigued, which is getting incredibly frustrating. It's not a new problem um, at all. I mean, I've pretty much struggled with fatigue as long as I can remember. I mean, just never feeling like I'm really truly rested. Um, but over the past couple years, it's gotten so much worse. And really, I just go through periods where I just flat out want to sleep all the time. For example, I kind of try and keep track of this in my head. And yesterday I was thinking about it and it's a pretty much especially over the past couple weeks, 2 p.m. comes and I am legitimately fighting off falling asleep for the entire rest of the day. So I am at work from 8 to 4. I can pretty much plug through the morning, okay? I'm not saying I'm awake. I mean, you can see sleep things. These never go away. They really never have. Um, so I can get through the mornings okay. I mean, generally I'm a productive morning person despite the fact that I would rather be sleeping. I can definitely get things done. So at work I'm fine. On the weekends in the mornings I'm good. Um, I really wish that I could be home during the mornings, you know, like until noon through the week because I would get so much stuff done and I would feel so much better, but that's not an option. So anyway, two o'clock, I mean, I am just struggling. Um, do you even feel like I want to stay awake? So, it just seems to be getting worse. It's not like I get, like, you know, the kids go to bed at 8 o'clock, and at that point, I'm just like, done, I can't do anything. That is not the case. I struggle through my evenings, which I don't like, because I want to enjoy being home in the evenings with the kids and Tom, and I want to enjoy making supper, and I want to enjoy sitting down doing the kids' homework, um, and, and having a little bit of time to play with them, or taking them to activities, or whatever, and I think I don't enjoy it but it's a struggle for me to even want to stay awake and there are times when I'm laying on the floor playing with them specifically laying on the floor playing with Peyton because she likes to play Barbies or babies or whatever which we do on the floor and if I lay my head down on a pillow I will flat out fall asleep sometimes so that's a struggle I've been to the doctor they claim that everything is fine they ran my blood work and all that kind of stuff and actually the most recent thing I was told by the physician's assistant that I saw which by the way I really liked him it was the first time I saw the physician's assistant versus the doctor um and he says you might just be that way really like you don't have any suggestions for me on how to not feel so tired you know um, I take a multivitamin and everything, but that's the end of my rant on being tired. I don't know. I should probably figure out a way to go to the gym and maybe I would feel better. But honestly, I've done that. I've, I've done regular exercise and it doesn't make me any less tired, to be quite honest. There's times that I yawn through working out. My diet isn't terrible. I'm, say, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than some people's. I rarely eat out. 
or anything like that. Um, I don't want to say rarely. It's very occasionally. I used to pretty much never eat out until I got been with Tom the past two and a half years, and I kind of eat out a little bit more. But when I do, I try not to eat stuff that's terrible. Anyway, at home, I mean, I cook at home. You know, I pack my lunch. I, you know, whatever. I don't know. I guess I'm just always going to feel tired. Maybe someday I'll figure out a way to get rid of it. But for now, I just push through. I just do what I have to do, and I go to work, and I take care of the kids at home, and I try to play with them and engage them in activities as much as I can. Um, so that's that's that about that. I'm about to pull into work. I didn't really talk too much about what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna have it. All right, somewhat relaxing evening at home. I'm gonna try and make a simple dinner and uh, we're gonna try and probably try and do a little bit of cleaning up around the house um, tonight and laundry. I try to do laundries on, laundry on Wednesdays and on the weekend. Uh, I used to only do it once a week, but I noticed that it's a lot better if I do it twice a week. It's less of a, feels like less of a giant chore um, when, it feels less of a giant chore if I do it twice a week. So anyway, it's Wednesday, we don't have anything going on. I'm gonna try and do laundry, clean up a little bit. Definitely I'll play with the kids. I have to do Parker's homework. We have to do is 20 minutes of out loud reading, which has been a struggle. I'm hoping it gets gets better, but I definitely he needs to practice that. He's a super awesome reader. Anyway, I just pulled into work. So this is just kind of my random morning talk and I usually have these to myself. So I figured I'll record them maybe once a week, couple times a week. Not sure how often yet, but anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day, bye.